Good morning, this is Reg Kelly with Table in the Wilderness. Glad you could be with us again. This morning I have a subject that's kind of chilly out today, but it is so beautiful. I mean, the grass is green and the sun's coming up. It's a little early, but I've been out walking and talking to the Lord and just felt like I had something here God wanted me to share with you. And that is that in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, in verse number 4, God speaks of another Jesus. Paul was talking to the church of Corinth. He said he warned them about another Jesus, another spirit, and another gospel. And that's what I want to talk to you today is, is about another Jesus. Because I literally see this happening in our country. The American Christians have carved out another Jesus. Uh, I want to just say this in beginning that one of the most dangerous things that you and I could ever do is to carve out a Jesus in our mind and in our heart that is not the Jesus of the Bible. God has revealed himself to us. Christ has revealed himself to us clearly in Scripture. And we need to be real careful that we don't carve out a Jesus that fits our life. We become idolaters. And then we have another God that we're serving. And what I uh, see in this is, number one, I see another Bible. People have forsaken the old Bible that this, this country was built on, the authorized King James Bible. There was a time when every denomination in this country used the same Bible. You saw great revivals. You saw 40 and 50 and 80 people being baptized in the river. You saw great crusades. And you saw the power of God affecting our culture, our legislation, our government, and uh, every aspect of our culture. Then around the turn of the century in 1900, you begin to see a few Bibles creeping in. And these Bibles added to the Word of God. They took away from the Word of God. They changed the Word of God. And of course, they're subtle. Until now, we have literally hundreds of different translations. I want to say to you that Jesus is not a liar. Uh, he doesn't talk out of both sides of his mouth, the Jesus of the Bible. And that's what these other Bibles do. What's well, the first thing I see that we, we got another Bible, and it brought us another Jesus. And this Jesus allows people to do what they want to do in their own heart and their own mind. They carve him out, they set him on the little shelf of their life, and he just goes right along with everything they want to do. Let me give you for instance. If they want to commit adultery, he's okay with that. Their Jesus doesn't mind because he's not the Jesus of the Bible. If they want to commit fornication, that's okay because their Jesus doesn't have anything, no problem with fornication. If they want to be a sodomite, lesbian, queer, gay, whatever they, and we're going to have a session on that. I'm going to give it one before long. I'll do a clip on why gays are not gays. Gays are not gay. But in our culture now, the Jesus that people have in churches, oh, God's okay with that if that's what you think you are. Uh, your Jesus seems to be, maybe he's okay with lying when it suits your purpose. I've been amazed at the Jesus that's been brought into churches now. There's a Jesus in America now that just loves rock and roll music. He just loves contemporary hoo hoo -ah music. And he's, I mean, he's, we got a Jesus now that wanted to go to the rock concerts. Listen, I was born in 53. You may think I'm an old fuddy dud, but I'm not. No, there's some things that are unchangeable, that are universal and eternal. I was born in the day when rock and roll was launched in this country. Billy, you know, I mean, from Elvis Presley right on up through the Beatles and the whole nine yards, up to ACDC and now all your wicked uh, stuff that you see. It was always out of hell. It was never of the Lord. It, it brought forth shameless sexual immorality, rebellion against authority, and it really cursed this country. Uh, the old grandpas used to call it jungle music. They said it came right out of the jungle, and they were they were accurate. But now in our churches, man, I mean, tell you what, we're, we have rock concerts, and we think that's so good. But I want to tell you, the Jesus of the Bible is a holy, holy God. He's a thrice holy God. And don't, you can't convince someone like me that, that that Jesus is interested in your contemporary music, your little emotional, your, you, in what I see now, soul worship. Soul worship is not worship in spirit and in truth. It's soul worship. It affects your mood and swings your mood and makes you feel good. And we sure don't want to talk about sin and we don't want to judge anybody. Remember my last clip? We don't want to judge each other. And we don't even want to talk about doctrine in our churches. We've got another Jesus. 
And this Jesus just seems to be fine with whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter. I just want to encourage you today, you better check it out, because if you are worshiping another Jesus, not that's not the Jesus of the Bible, that's holy and righteous and separate from this world and separate from sinners, it could be you wind up in hell having followed another Jesus that you carved out of your mind. I, uh, I'm thinking about this. Uh, just last night I had a discussion, and, and I'm not trying to be condemning here, but uh, you go to entertainments. Some of, you get, some of you Christian families are taking your kids to the Beauty and the Beast, and you know before you go there what that, that thing's promoting. We're going to do a clip on that. And uh, I just want to encourage you. What, what Jesus are you serving? What Jesus are you serving? I mean, he said, if you love me, obey my commandments. And he said, my commandments are not grievous. If you love the Lord, you're going to want to obey the Lord. And so I just really want to encourage everybody. Don't carve out a Jesus in your mind. That I, I think about this Jesus that people's carved out. He's okay with evolution. He's just fine with you sending your children to school and being taught that he's a liar. I cannot for the grass life of me understand how Christian parents can be just fine with their children being taught evolution. Being taught that the God they claim they're worshiping on Sunday is a liar right out of the gate. That the first thing God says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. That he's a liar. I, I can't grasp that. That's not the Jesus of the Bible. And if you allow your children to be taught that God's a liar, you surely are worshiping another Jesus. I don't understand it. And I don't believe God's with it. I'm telling you, I think we're in trouble. I think we're in big, big trouble. And so be careful. I want you to think about this. Read the Jesus of the Bible. And read it balanced. Don't just read about him being kind and merciful. Read about him being holy and just and righteous. Don't make him out to be what you want him to be. You have to take him for what he is. For friend at judgment, you'll find out that he is a holy, righteous God. Friendship with the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be the friend of the world is the enemy of God. I, um, the Jesus of the Bible doesn't require you to work either. The Jesus that you carved out, he doesn't require you to work, does he? It's all right for you to... Uh, you know, just slip around and milk the system and not work. I could go on for a long time with this, and, and I don't want to be mean. I, I really don't, but I'm telling you, the wrath of God is against all unrighteousness. And if you've carved out to Jesus, that's okay with your marijuana. He's okay with your drinking. He's okay with your fornication. He's okay with your adultery. He's okay with your pornography. You've carved out another Jesus. He's false and phony as a three dollar bill and you're going to fight, wake up someday in hell saying my God what did I do the sad part about it is that in a lot of our churches the churches are following another Jesus another spirit and another gospel please be careful please listen to me today our country is being overrun with this another Jesus I hope you have a wonderful day I've been with the Lord this morning letting him talk to me and reading the Bible I talked to him a little and uh, I pray that you'll draw close to God until next time thank you so much for listening and be careful that you're not serving and worshiping another Jesus that you carved out in your own mind that serves your own purposes we tell you these things because we love you that's what God does God warns God tells you because he loves you See you next time. Have a great day. It's a beautiful day. Might even find some mushrooms today. Never know. It'd be a good day to go four-wheeling and just have a great time in the Lord. Oh, we're so blessed. Appreciate you listening. Have a great day. Bye-bye.